Here is a uh, Sanyo CD player with uh, no line fuse in it from the factory. It's a single disc player. It looks like it's very well made. And here's where we're going to be working right here. As you can see, there's no fuse in the primary. So I had cut one side of the uh, line cord and then took it off the post. So uh, here is a piece of wire I'm going to be putting on that fuse block. I'm going to strip it. And uh, here is the fuse block I'm going to be putting in. I'm going to be putting it on facing down. And it's going to be on this side. So I'm going to go in the hole. Come down with all my strands. Make a nice tight wrap. And now I'm going to solder this connection. So I take and I tin the end of the soldering iron. Make sure my wire is down nice and straight because it's going to be angling down. I heat the terminal and the wire. I get a nice clean neat flow of solder. Make sure no copper is exposed. And it kind of went to one spot here, so I'm going to take the iron, heat it, move it across. There, it's a nice, uh, neat solder joint filling the hole. Okay, now I'm getting ready to do the other side. I'm going to cut and I'm going to strip it. But first I'm going to be taking this wire off the power cord. Now since this one is a real tight spot, I'm going to tin the wire. And I'm going to uh, twist them together here.
I'm going to have to get my flux out. I'm going to put some flux on that wire on the copper. I'm going to put some solder on the soldering iron here. And I'm going to tin this wire. There, now there's a nice tin on the wire. And since I had tinned this already, I'm going to uh, make a loop here in the wire, in the tinned piece. I'm going to make it nice and straight so it looks nice and neat. And this is going to be called a drop solder. And I'm going to put a little flux in here. Then again, I'm going to be putting some solder on my soldering iron. And I'm going to hold to this. So I'm going to make it straight. I'm going to have to add some more solder to that. There, it fills the, the hole. It's a nice clean solder joint, but it's a little bit bubbled on this side, so I'm going to just level it off, reheating it. There, now it looks nice and clean and neat. You can see that solder joint there. Now next I'm going to be putting this wire around this post down here. Okay, I'm going to have to clean that post off because there's some solder on it from before. Okay, this is a, a solder pump. There, I cleaned up all the old solder from before. And now I can wrap this wire down around that post. Okay, now I'm going to have to use some needle nose to get a nice a nice tight wrap I 
had to get them all the strands in nice and tight. Get them all around the post. This takes a little while because it's in a tight spot. Okay, I'll tip that up so you can see what I did down there. I wrapped that yellow wire around the post and I had to push all those uh, strands down. I'm going to take a little flux. I'm going to put it around the post. Now I'll tip this up so you can see me soldering it. Okay, I heat the wire. I can't burn any components next to it. I'm using a very, very fine soldering wire. Okay, I have a little copper showing at the top, so I'm going to get it reheated again. Okay, I might want to, have to touch that one more time, a little flux, and I'm going to reheat that whole thing. And there it is all done. And this block is going to be screwed down to that hole right there. Thanks for watching.